Looking to create more speed and distance? What's the holy grail of the throw? I'm gonna give you a clip from our virtual throws camp on a pillar two start. So if you're interested in throwing far faster, check it out. I'm straight down, turned, upper body comes over, and then what it does is it forces Okay guys, so pillar two starts are something we do and I usually consider this a little bit more advanced, but a pillar two start is where we're gonna set our throw. What we're gonna do is squat straight down. We're gonna turn this foot to about 45 degrees. We're maintaining hips, so we hinge. Notice I don't turn the hips. And so what I do is I hinge to about 45. I bring the chest forward on an angle here. So I'm in that point of pillar two. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wind on the angle. I can't set back up. I'm on the angle. So you'll see this line here. You'll see how my hips are generally centered. The knee is not pushing this way. I'm straight down, turned, upper body comes over. And then what it does is it forces the long radius, right? And so I feel this and Tyson Jones, who threw 71, eight and three quarters multiple times and won New Balance Nationals in 2018. We had a point in the fall where we probably spent about three weeks where that's all he did was pillar twos. He just got feeling that pillar two position, pillar two position, the timing of how to keep everything moving and driving in. And that's what set him up for that really good consistency, dozen throws in competition over 70 feet. So very consistent. Again, we're gonna review the pillar two is quite simple. We squat straight down, we turn the foot to 45, we angle the chest out, and then we get here and we open, we wind on the angle so we feel that hip lock like a kneeling throw, and then we work the arm around so we're gonna feel the hinge and you're gonna feel that. Now I'm on balance, heads over the knee, I'm on double loaded legs, I'm gonna be able to turn through, turn through and lift, okay? So hopefully that feels good. Try it, pillar twos, usually people hate them because what it's really showing you is are you loading and moving around the axis? The easier it gets, the better the axis. The more difficult it feels and cumbersome, the more you're absolutely doing it incorrect. That's a quick thing. We have more details inside the system on how to do a pillar two start, but start here, try that and in the next video, we're going to put the whole throw together and we'll help you again identify your drills and you will hopefully be feeling a good solid full throw and congrats on a big week here we go